Hey there, I'm Sherry, I'm an OTCHT, and I want to talk to you about the CHT Study Guide and Planner. It's 84 pages, it's full color throughout, and it's bound, so it's ready to go. But there's some extra things that come with it. <clears throat> for every chapter of the ASHT prep and for the Purple Book, you have two sets of labels, so you can use those in your book. And there's another set of labels here that'll help you plan and organize. In addition to that, there's 110 chapter note cards from Rehab of the Hand. So every chapter of Rehab of the Hand has its own note card and you can use these to study however you want. You can write notes directly from the chapter. You can use these to study combined topics. You can use these to create flashcards. However you wanna put these into your plan, they'll be very helpful. And then I've given you a lot of notes and a lot of different styles of notes throughout your book. But if you want more notes, I've given you the digital file and you can print these off and attach them within your planner. I've given you some binder clips too to make sure everything stays together. So your planner has a table of contents, a scratch pad with phone numbers, passwords, and messages, an intro that you can read yourself. Then there's a quick start, and this is designed to help you put things in perspective so you don't get overwhelmed. It's just a super quick start. Here's some podcasts that people have been uh, stating have been helpful to them on Facebook, and the most common books and guided programs. This is a study plan at a glance, and you can refer back to this if you'd like. It's your top resources, your wish list resources, and who you're going to study with. And these are the checklists that are required for the certification exam. You can also put your mission statement here. Why do you want to be a hand therapist? Why is it important for you to take this test? Steps to success come from people that have passed the test on the first time, and I've added some other um, suggestions as well. The process of studying is just a review. And then the power of music is how music can actually help you to retain information. There's some evidence-based resources and references in the back of the book for the entire planner. <clears throat> Myths about learning comes from a book called Make It Stick and another book by Bozer in 2017. And it's a really fun review of ways we thought we should study and ways they suggest you should study. There's the planner pages. This basically goes over all the pages in the book. And this is for the domain blueprint review. So you can find this on the HTCC website. It's overwhelming, but you can scan it, you know, jot down some things that you feel great about and jot down some things that you want to work on. This is Ready, Set, Resource. These are books and more that have been suggested by hand therapists. And these are our website and YouTube channels, as well as hand-centric social media sites that are fun to go to while you're studying. This is a hands-on learning and video lab checklist. These are the things that we need to know when we're in the clinic. So you can use these if you've already done a lot of these things, check them off or highlight them, or you can add them into your plan. When you're studying anatomy, these are the most common things you're gonna to, going to wanna to do. Draw, list, label, color. So it gives you a checklist there things we need to palpate, things we need to practice, and things we need to work on when evaluating. Also, if you have Rehab the Hand 7th edition, in the very back on the online version are supplements with videos or scads of them, so you can use that also in your study plan. It's really a big bonus to having that book. This is a study system timeline, and this is where a bulk of your work is going to be because you're going to take the resources that you want to study and you're going to plug them into a timeline. You're going to use simple math to divide out what you want to study and how much time you need to get it done. For me, I started in January, I ended in October, I'm going to take the test in November. I had a review period and then a pre-test rest period. So this is where you're really going to do a lot of planning and it'll help you get a great jump start. To your to your program now if you if you want to study by topic then i've given you all the topics of rehab of the hand and then the chapters that correlate to those topics from roh ASHT, and the purple book you also have two calendars 
then you have fifty two slots for studying. you can fill these in however you want this is an example of how you can use the stickers you can put some of the chapters in here you can make notes you can add some of those podcasts that we talk about denia cox has a great podcast so does wong and so does bob phillips so there's a lot of places you can pepper your weeks with those different podcasts to shake it up and make it fun so you can fill these out however you want then we're going to come over here to the evidence-based note taking and study techniques I'm going to let you read these, but a lot of these are just super fun to try at different times in your study plan. You don't have to use these on every one, but as you read about them and learn about them, you see how much fun they can be. The Pomodoro technique is used in academia, and basically you're going to use a tomato timer to set it for a brief, intense amount of time shut the door and you use that to study so you can apply this to area that you think would be most needed the Leitner system is a flashcard box system where as you progress you move the flashcards forward and if you have a setback you move them back there are lots of different ways that you can study this is just an example of rolling chapter notes traditional rolling notes so what i've done here is i've used these labels again so i'm starting with Upper Extremity Anatomy and Biomechanics from ASHT and Clinical Anatomy from the Purple Book. And I'm going to take notes on this page from those chapters. The other thing you can do is put the ASHT sticker here and the Purple Book sticker here, and then you're taking notes side by side. It's really however you want to affix these. I want you to feel like you can use these throughout your book to help you organize. The next set of notes are called memory chapter notes. And basically what you do here is read four to six paragraphs. After you read those paragraphs, you take a break and you write one key point from memory throughout. This is harder to do, but it's more effective. Reading can be incredibly passive. That's why we read the same sentence over and over again. But when you use this style of chapter notes and reading, you'll retain the information better. The other set of notes are called Feynman. Let's see if I can find them here. And with the Feynman style, what you're doing is reading, taking in information, and you're going to explain this topic back to somebody. Pretend that you're on the elevator with a physician or a peer, and you've got 30 seconds on the ride, and you have to explain something. Say they ask you, what is an action potential? You want to put all the information you know about an action potential into a filter, and what shakes out is what you're going to say. It's a great way to focus your attention and really have super detail on what, you, what it is that you're trying to learn. It's, it's a great way to learn. And then within this system, we talk about some questions to explore. And here's a flashcard generator. So what in this chapter would you like to turn into a flashcard? So that's how the Feynman technique works. And then the last, we come to these trackers. So we have several different kinds of trackers in your book. This is a combined effort and progress tracker. Basically, I'm a list maker. I like to give myself credit. If I did something that wasn't on my list, I'll write it on the list. So here I've done some anatomy videos. Um, it was from a Wallant surgery on LinkedIn. I looked at them on 125, finished on 126. And so I'm going to write down all those things. You can also use your chapter labels to put here. I've given you two sets of each, so you can, you can use them however you want. But if you want to use them here for all the tasks that you've done or chapters you've done, you can do that as well. And then this is your direct practice experience tracker to keep track of the date, the hours, the facility you worked, and um, the hours so that you, you have this for uh, HTCC. And then once you become a CHT, you're going to keep track of your hours. In five years, you need 80 hours. So this is just to help you organize that before you upload those certificates to the HTCC website. And then the very last page, of course, is the most important. And that is your goals and rewards. So I set a goal to read five chapters of the ASHT prep, and I bought myself a new ISTEM tool. You don't have to use this, but I think it's kind of fun. I think it adds to the whole experience is really embrace what you're doing here and give yourself a little treat for accomplishing the tasks that you think are important. 
I may have given myself an ice cream cone when I didn't deserve it. So I keep that a secret. Anyways, I hope this helps and I wish you all the best in your studies.